Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill. And over there, we got Chris Rodriguez. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. They will fit you for all your hockey needs. Um, Player gear, they got you covered. Fan gear, they got you covered. Referee gear, they somewhat got you covered. They don't got the the eye exam. They don't got an eye exam, eye patch, or eye blinders to help you be a better ref, but... And they don't do surgery there to make your eyes better either. (laughs) Yeah, you got to go to a doctor if you want LASIK. That's expensive for a hockey guy. (laughs) Yeah. All righty. But while you're calling them or visiting their website, please call or visit the Milwaukee Admirals website, milwaukeeadmirals.com, or call them at 414 227 0550 for all your ticket needs. If you are looking for season tickets, flex plans, by the way, with flex plans, say you're planning a trip up here, you know, well, say Florida is on a road trip, Nashville, if you're on a road trip and you need to see some hockey in your life, the Milwaukee, Um, we sent you the Milwaukee Admirals got you covered. Tell them we sent you and maybe they'll even cut you a deal. Who knows? Yeah, we can't promise now. We can't promise that we don't work for them, but who knows? Maybe they'll get it. Maybe you'll get them to laugh. Maybe they'll be nicer to us. Yeah, <laughs> but, they're already uh, nice to us. But alrighty. Um, on another note, please subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, like and follow on Facebook. If you do that, comment done on this video on Facebook or on YouTube or both, like Susie did, and you will enter yourself next by next weekend but we're hoping to get to 10 people i'm not going to do this just for three people because yeah. better off just shipping all three out that's not fair to anybody i said i was going to do a random drawing that's not yeah. fair. you know um i i gotta make it fair as unfair as that sounds <laughs> hey, hey, life ain't fair right? Uh, right everybody can agree with that one um uh so with that being said uh, one of the things I wanted to get into before this, um, we did hit 50. Thank you to everybody. We are over a thousand on Facebook. Thank you to everybody. But we, we still want more on Facebook and YouTube, obviously. But thank you. We cannot thank you stress to everybody. enough how grateful we are because we did not know what we were getting into on YouTube when we came back again. We did not know anything. <laughs> Damn you and your brain, Dan. We're succeeding now. <laughs> yeah, I know. My brain figured it out. I wanted out. to go but, live and I wanted to record because me and him swear too much and I didn't trust us in front of a camera. And ah. now I uh, I don't swear half as much. Yeah, we, we taught ourselves not to swear on camera. See, we can learn stuff. <laughs> but anyway, today, tonight, earlier today, the Florida Everblades took on the Greensville Swamp Rabbits. You should check out our video from earlier today. Check out our video from earlier today. We were actually, um, hey, where'd you At go? Dan's house. Uh, I disappeared, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I went for a walk. I literally, I walked home, and it was a nice day outside. No issue taking a walk. But anyway, n- um, so now the Nashville Predators took on the Dallas Stars. Stats. For the second time in eight games. All right, Predators, uh, shots on goal were uh, 30 to 22 for Dallas. Uh, faceoff percentage was 51% for the Preds, 49 for Dallas. Uh, Nashville was one for two on the power play. Dallas was 0 for two. Uh, both teams had four penalty minutes. Uh, hits for 21 20 in favor of the Predators. Block shots 12 11 in favor of the Predators. Ooh, Predators, you have to cut back on the giveaways. You had 17 and Dallas had 12. They both need to cut back on the giveaways as far yeah, as as far as the period, unbiased decisions. Yeah, in the first period, uh, Dallas outshot Nashville 11-7. Second period, it was 11-8 uh, Dallas. And then uh, in the third, Dallas outshot them 7-6. All right, All right Dan, you can talk now. All righty. Well, I wait for uh, Google to not to do this to me anymore because you know trying to keep no tech issues noted stats here i'd be sitting there with a pad like this all day (laughs) oh i can't even i'm I'm, anyway 
I'm looking at stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, scoring in the first period for the Dallas Stars was Rhett Gardner. Uh, his first of the year with an assist from uh, Ellis. I think it's Elis uh, Linden and Tanner Kiro. Uh, then scoring for Dallas at the 10-21 mark was Radic Fosca uh, with an assist from Robertson, his 13th, and Oleksiak, his fifth. By the way, Lindell's uh, is his fourth, and Kiro was his third. Sorry, I forgot to give those stats as well. Uh, then Nashville got on the board on the power play with a goal from Ryan Johansson, his third, with an assist from Ekholm, his ninth, and Tolvin in his fourth. Then in the second... What time in the first did that Johansson goal happen? Uh, 10.51. All right. Then at the uh, 13.02 oh, oh, mark of the second, the second was kind of boring up to this point. Yeah, but, it was. Uh, there was so many icing calls, I thought I was going to have to go to 7-Eleven to get a slushie. All right. <laughs> but uh, uh, Ty Delandria scored his third of the year with an assist from former Badger Joel Pavelski, his eight, his uh, 14th, and Joe jo ah, Klingberg, his 14th. I can't believe Jumbo Joe's still playing. That would be Joe Thornton, not Pavelski. Wrong really? Player. I thought but they used it for good. both. Yeah. Too many uh, Joes. Yeah. All righty, then scoring in the second uh, at the 1754 mark was Philip Forsberg with his 11th of the year with an assist from Johansson, his eighth, and Tolvin in his fifth. So that's two points for Tolvin and two points for Johansson. That, then scoring in the third to tie it all up was Illy Tolvin. Illy Tolvin in with his seventh with an assist from Ben Harper, his first. OT, nothing. Yeah. Anyway, shootout. Jason Roberts shot first for Dallas. No goal. Phil Forsberg for Nashville. No goal. Ty Delandria for Dallas. No goal. Ryan Johansson on a pretty silky smooth move there. Yeah. Um, goal. Uh, then, then for Dallas, Joe Pavelski, goal. Nick Cousins, no goal. John Klingberg, no goal. Illy Tolvin, no goal. Jamie Benn, no goal. Kelly Arncroft, goal. Nashville Predators walk out the same way they walked into this and their longest road trip in Nashville Predators history, they walk out the same way they came in. Yeah, with a shootout victory over Dallas in Dallas. Yep. All right, your goaltenders. Yeah, the Predators finished this road trip. They were on 4-3-1. and one. Ha, I like how you said finish because I was just about to talk about Pecorine. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Pecorine, he stopped uh, 27 of 30 with a .900 save percentage. He played all 65 minutes. Um, in net for uh, Dallas was uh, a hero story of the Stanley Cup last year, or their Stanley Cup run. Uh, they didn't win one, but they got to the run. They, they had a really nice run, and that was Anton Hudobin. He stopped 19 of 22 with a .8 Six four save percentage. Your three stars of the game are uh, third star of the game is Philip Forsberg. Second star of the game is Ty Delandria. Third, first star of the game, Illy Tolvanen. Way to go, Tolvi. Um, it's really good to see um, him, the progression he's made, and and how. How, how much better he he's playing there than here. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, um, uh, referees were uh, Kyle Rahman and uh, Dean Morton. That sounds like a salt and noodle combination, but nonetheless. Hey. Uh, then we Apparently have Nathan... you're hungry. Huh? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Uh, 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 linesmen were Bevan Mills and Julian Tronier. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Uh, head coach for Dallas is Rick Bonus. I guess they had to have bonus hockey in this one. 
that wasn't very uh-huh, funny. very funny. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Ooh. very funny. Uh, anyway, your scratches are for Nashville are Mikel Gradlin and Mark Barvesky. Uh, both are day to day with a uh, undisclosed upper body injury. I didn't even <laughs> know Gradlin was hurt until they mentioned it today. All right, uh, your scratches for Dallas were Rope Hintz, Justin Dowling, and Alexander Radulov. Ooh, what'd they do to end up on that list? Either A, they're hurt, or B, something else went horribly wrong. Oh, well, it is Dallas. Um, you know what that means. Yeah. Um, but other than that, this was a good game. Uh, they always play each other hard against each other. Yeah, apparently they're rivals. I had no idea. I, oh, well, anyway, that watch. I know, that they're, I know they're a rival with Winnipeg. I didn't know the Predators had a rivalry with Dallas. Until the Winter Classic of last year. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Well, a little bit of carryover? Yeah, well, there was always carryover. Uh, the last three times Dallas made the playoffs, the Preds went, basically took their foot and went <laughs> and kicked them out. So Dallas, that bitter hatred is there. Okay. Um, basically how we felt against Ducks fans and um, – uh, Red Wings and um, <laughs> the Sharks. <laughs> uh, so for a while, there were those issues. But nonetheless, uh, we're really happy with how things are going. By the way, we got some more content coming from for you soon. Um, uh, it'll probably drop tomorrow. Uh, keep your eye out. You'll like this one. We're playing Stump Daniel and Stump Chris. We're going to see what happens. No, no, what it is, is me and Daniel, we are going to attempt to name one player from each team. So, yeah, let's see if we can uh, do that. One player from each team. All righty. And by the way, if you guys get to that video, if you guys want to join us in the fun, comment down below any other kind of stuff like this you want us to do, and we'll get it done. Yeah, We're this just is trying a, to have a some trial and error thing. We're going to see if it works. All righty. But for from Milwaukee to Nashville and our friends at Hockey Locker, we'll see y'all later. Peace.